Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to tie a Santee Cooper rig for catfish. The Santee Cooper rig is a very popular catfish rig and is very similar to other rigs like a Carolina rig or a slip sinker rig. The only difference being the float that is attached to the leader. Very often it is a cigar shaped float like this one, it's usually about two to three inches long. It's attached to the leader and the whole point of it is to elevate the bait in the water column. So let's get to tying this thing. I'm going to start out with the leader. I've got a two to two and a half foot section of fluorocarbon right here that's 30 pounds. Now this 30 pound fluorocarbon is going to be weaker than my main line because if this rig ever gets hung up on a tree or a rock and I need to break it free, theoretically this weaker line should break before the main line and at least I can save my lead. So I'm going to go ahead and tie my line onto a barrel swivel and I'm going to do that with a palomer knot. To tie a palomer knot you're going to double over your line and then feed it through one of the eyes of the barrel swivel. You're going to create a basic overhand knot with the doubled over line. Then pull the looped tag in, a good chunk of it through, enough that it will be able to wrap the entire loop around the barrel swivel. Wet the knot with some spit so it slides together easier and then pull in the main line to complete the knot. Trim off the tag end. Now let's move on to the main line. First I'm going to slide on a no roll sinker. Then I'm going to follow that up with a plastic bead. This can also be glass. Now it's not required, but I like to use the bead because it acts as a buffer between the weight and the knot on the barrel swivel. Sometimes if you don't have that bead, the weight can just be banging on that knot and over time it can weaken. So I use that little bead right there as a buffer to just kind of protect that knot. Now I'm going to tie the main line onto the leader. The other side of the barrel swivel, I'm going to do this again with a palomer knot. After the main line is tied on, let's move back to the leader. At this point, we'll add the cigar float, so I'm going to pull out the little plug here, thread the line through the float, and then you can slide this float up and down the leader wherever you want to place it. I kind of tend to put it right in the middle here. So slide the that little plug back into the float, and that thing should stay put nice and snug. Now I'm going to tie on the hook with what's called the easy snell knot. I'm going to thread my line through the front of the eye out the back. I'm going to take a good chunk of line right here and then create a little loop right at the back of the shank, right on the bend of the hook right there. I'm going to pinch that to keep it in place. That'll be important here in a minute. I'm going to start wrapping the tag end around the shank and the main line here. I'm going to make about 10 wraps here. And once I've made my wraps, I'm going to kind of bunch them together so it's easier to pinch and to keep them in place. Now, remember that little loop that we created at the beginning of this knot? We're going to take the tag end, thread it through that loop and then pull on the main line to close that loop. And then keeping the tension on the tag end still, I'm going to pull all those wraps up to the eye and really pull it down to make sure it's tight. Trim the tag end. And that is how you tie a Santee Cooper rig. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. And if you enjoy fishing as much as I do, I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Hope to see you guys back in the next one. But until then, get out there, put a line in the water because we were made to fish.